The Mola Skyker is a prototype personal VTOL aircraft a Euro a flying car a Euro invented by Paul Mola who has been attempting to develop such a vehicle type for 50 years. Description: The M400 craft, currently under development, is purported to ultimately transport four people. Single seat up to six seat variations are also planned. It is described as a car since it is aimed at being a popular means of transport for anyone who can drive, incorporating automated flight controls, with the driver only inputting direction and speed required. After 40 years and $100 million in expenditure the Skyker demonstrated tethered hovering capability in 2003. It has been extensively marketed for pre-order sales since the 1990s as Molo attempted to raise more money for development but 30 years on is often cited as a real-world example of physical product for poor air. In April 2009, the National Post characterized the Molo M400 Skyker as a failure, and described the Molo company as no longer believable enough to gain investors. On May 18, 2009, Paul Moller filed for personal protection under the Chapter 11 reorganization provisions of the federal bankruptcy law and it is unknown how this will impact the fate of his ideas. Moller International itself did not file for bankruptcy but reduced operations. Operation A Skyker is not piloted like a traditional fixed-wing airplane, and has limited pilot controls, which the pilot uses to inform the computer control system of the desired flight maneuvers. The Skyker's ducted fans deflect air vertically for takeoff and horizontally for forward flight. The ducted fans encase the propellers and engines, which prevents bystanders from being exposed to moving blades as well as improving aerodynamic efficiency at low speeds and generating lift in forward flight. Rodder power engines, the engines to be used are being developed by an affiliate Moller company called Freedom Motors. They are Wankel engines they call Rodder power which have a direct drive to a propulsion fan. Each fan is contained in Kevlar-lined housings which provide further protection for bystanders. The Skyker has four nacelles, each with two computer-controlled rotopower engines. All eight engines operate independently and, as demonstrated during a tethered flight, allow for a vertical-controlled landing should anyone fail. The Rotopoa Wankel engine announced by Freedom Motors has the claimed ability to operate on any fuel including, but not limited to, gasoline, diesel, methanol, and clean renewable ethanol. Earlier Rotopoa models used gasoline. On November 1, 2013 Molo announced that the 530cc's Rotopoa engine had achieved 102 horsepower using alcohol on their test stand, yielding an effective 3 horsepower per pound of weight. Despite announcements since 2001 the Rotopower engine has never been mass-produced. As of 2015, Moller claims to have a backlog of conditional orders and letters of intent for over 3.5 million Rotopower engines. Variants, Molo M150 Skyker, the initial single-seat technology demonstrator, incorporating the fuselage of a BD BD5 with two of Moller's ducted fan units. Prototype only. No public demonstration flights. Molo M400 Skyker, the prototype version powered by four Molo propulsors incorporating Rotopoa 500 Wankel rotary engines, has flown several times without a pilot but tethered via slack safety line to an overhead crane. Molo 400 Skyker, production version. And built. Molo 100 LS and 200 LS, proposed one and two seat Volant or Air vehicles similar to the 400 Skyker. Specifications, data from and, general characteristics, crew, 1, capacity, 4, length, 21 feet 6, 19 6 inches in M, wingspan, 8 feet 6 in 2.6 M, height, 7 feet 6 in 2.3 M, empty weight, 2,400 pounds 1,088 kilograms, gross weight, 3120 pounds, power plant. Ata, 530cc Rodopoa rotary engines, 0.15 pounds thrust per HP, with electric motor backup equivalent to 120 horsepower, 180 horsepower each, performance, maximum speed, 331 miles per hour kilometer per hour, cruise speed, 308 miles per hour kilometer per hour, range, 805 miles, endurance, 5.9 hours, 
service ceiling, 36,000 feet 10,973 m, rate of climb, 4,800 feet per minute. Criticism the only flight demonstrations have been hover tests performed in 2003 by a Skyker prototype that for insurance reasons was tethered to a crane. The ongoing lack of funding for the Muller company to actually fly the M400 led the National Post to characterize the Skyker as a failure. Although the physics behind the Skyker design is rarely criticized, the management of the company and the inability to bring a product to market draws the most ire from commentators. SEC fraud complaint. In 2003, the Securities and Exchange Commission sued Muller for civil fraud in connection with the sale of unregistered stock, and for making unsubstantiated claims about the performance of the Skyker, even though Muller's statements had passed the review and received cleared comments from the SEC during the filing and public information phase prior to being listed as a publicly traded company. Without admitting any wrongdoing, Muller agreed to pay $50,000 to settle the matter quickly so as not to delay the initial public offering of the stock. In the words of the SEC complaint, as of late 2002, MI's approximately 40 years, sick of development has resulted in a prototype Skyker capable of hovering about 15 feet above the ground. The shareholders of Muller International banded together to form a group known as Shareholders of Muller International. Auction in October 2006, Molo attempted to auction the only prototype of its M200X model on eBay. It failed to sell. The highest bid was $3,100. Molo reported at the annual meeting of stockholders on October 21, 2006 in Davis, California, that the reserve price had been $3,500,000. A previous attempt in 2003 to sell the M400 via eBay was also unsuccessful. Joint venture, a memorandum of understanding was signed in January 2013 between Molo International and a U.S. China and E Business Network agreeing to the goal of developing production for Molo Skycars in the United States and the People's Republic of China. As of October 2015 nothing further has been reported on developments of this previously announced joint venture despite Molo International's January 2013 press release having stated the following. The JV will initially invest $80 million of a planned $480 million investment with the objective of producing a variety of VTOL aircraft by 2014. Crowdfunding Campaign On November 5, 2013 Moller kicked off a crowdfunding campaign with an official announcement on the Happening Now program on Fox News Channel in the U.S. He subsequently followed the broadcast announcement with a press release and a radio broadcast announcement on the Coast to Coast AM radio program with host John B. Wells interviewing Moller for two hours. The campaign was formulated to raise money to further develop the systems to fly the Skyker without a tether and with a pilot on board, something that Moller had yet to accomplish with the flights that had been conducted to date with the M400X prototype vehicle. Moller launched a donation-only crowdfunding campaign, not subject to SEC scrutiny, and promised to provide gifts and other items to donors, included a ride in the M400X as the top gift to the campaign. The Moller crowdfunding campaign ended on January 4, 2014 and raised a total of $29,429 from 188 funders, far short of its $950,000 goal. Ongoing work Currently Molo has focused its attention to the Neira, a two-seater, round, flying saucer-like aircraft. Like the M400 Skyker, the Neira uses eight rotor polar rotary engines. The Neira is designed for rescue, utility, and recreational operation. The daughter aircraft of the Neira, the Firefly, is designed as an emergency rescue vehicle capable of high-rise rescues, and can carry up to three passengers and one operator. Molo had announced a test flight of the Neira scheduled for November 2015, however due to FAA certification and lack of funding, the Molo team has been behind schedule. Molo claims that the Neira will fly in front of the press, shareholders, and public sometime in 2016. Notable appearances in media. See also, Bell X-22A, Molo M200G Volantor, PALV, T Fugia Transition. References External links, Molo International, Skyker Africa Limited, 
the South African agent to Molo International, Molo Disca Jet Brochure from 1974, Seven Flights of Fancy That Fizzled MSNBC, Gizmag, Davis California Wookie.